Hello and welcome to another video tutorial from Ellipse Security. Uh, today we're going to be going over Easy Cloud. So let's let's start out by kind of defining what Easy Cloud is. And simply put, it's Uniview's cloud service. Uh, not so much cloud storage, but more of a way to organize and share devices that you have. Uh, really handy for people that have multiple devices at multiple locations, especially if you need to share those. Let's say it's a retail environment and you need to share with a manager or shift lead or co-owner or whoever now through easy cloud uh, it, it's really easy to not only share devices add devices you can also add users uh, and you can also limit the time that the device is shared uh, so if you wanted to share it for a week or you know six months uh, if you have a manager that may be uh, brand new and you don't know how long they're going to be with the company you could even reevaluate that monthly or weekly if you want but let's say you have three locations and three different managers and you'd like those managers to be able to view the the cameras at their stores from their app or even at home you can add those managers to each one of these individually and you can also add a manager role to your NBR specifically for this. So if you want to restrict that uh, to non-admin tasks, you can do that. And I'll go over that here in just a second. So let's go over basic setup for setting up roles. And you may be familiar with that currently, uh, but just as an overview, we're gonna go over that again. Uh, so we're logged into our demo system here and we're gonna go into setup and then users. And we're just gonna add a user. Username for this is going to be manager. Password is whatever you'd like to make it. Just make sure it registers as a strong password on that on that scale here. And we're going to leave the user type as operator. Now your basic permissions we're going to kind of go over. So do you want them to be able to, to alter the configs? Do you want them to be able to do firmware upgrades? Do you want them to be able to view and export logs? And do you want them to be able to restart the, the unit whenever they want? So since this is a new manager, we're going to take away the ability to restart the unit from the, uh, from the interface here. Uh, we don't want them viewing logs. Firmware upgrade, eh, you can go either way. Uh, and base configuration, we're probably not going to want them to have access to. Live view, you can come down and drop this down and you can actually limit the number of cameras they're able to view. So let's say we just want them to be able to view cameras one through five. Audio, we don't want. PTZ control, we don't necessarily want them to have. Playback, they are going to want, but again, we're gonna restrict that to cameras one through five. Manual recording on NVR, we're going to take that away. And local backup, we're going to go ahead and leave for cameras one through five. We're going to save. And now we can see that user has been added. Now, once we have that done, we're going to come over here to network, into Easy Cloud. We're going to make sure Easy Cloud is turned on. We have our server address. We have our register code here. Device status is online, so we know it's connected to the internet and it's sending and receiving data. Device name is gonna be dependent on what you've named as a device. You can choose to have add without sign up on or off. We just leave, uh, we just left it on here. It's not actually gonna allow anybody to register it with add without sign up uh, because we have it registered to the uh, cloud already. And then this is where you would get your QR code. And so we're pretty much prepped and ready to add them to EasyCloud. The only thing they're going to need to do is create their own account on EasyCloud. And we're gonna go over how to do that right here. So to create an account, uh, all they're gonna do is go to os.easycloud.univue.com. And we'll bring them to this login screen. And we're gonna have them click sign up. Username is going to be 
Dave Tester region. It's going to be America, United States. And register using an email. And we will do test at philipsecurity.com. And it's going to send them a verification email. As soon as they hit acquire. I don't think it's actually going to send an email because this isn't an actual email address at all. Uh, once they receive that email, they're going to get a verification code. They'll put that in here, create their password, make sure to click these, and hit register. As soon as they're done registering their account, we're going to be able to share this device with that particular individual. You can see that we're already logged into our Easy Cloud account and we already have our device registered. However, if you need to register your device, all you'd need to do is go up here to add, type in the device name, and we'll just name this one uh, Store 1337. Register code is going to be whatever register code your DVR gives you in that Easy Cloud menu of your, uh, of your network menu. And organization we're going to leave as root, and then we're going to hit OK. That's going to automatically register this on your Easy Cloud account. Now that we have the device registered with our Easy Cloud account, we're going to go over to the sharing button. It's right over here, right between the key and the E. Device name we're not going to worry about. It's going to be grayed out and locked. Share to, we're going to type in who we want to share to, and remember we are doing our test account. If you have more than one person that you need to share to, we're going to just separate with the semicolon, and so on. Next is going to be the valid until line, and that's going to be how long you'd like to share the device. So if you want to just share for a limited time, you can drop this down. You can make it a couple of days, you can make it a few months if you need to. If you have a brand new manager and you want to reevaluate after a quarter, right? So you can do it for three months, you can do it for six, you can do it however long you'd like. So you're going to select that and we're just going to do until April 28th, why not? Permission. This is going to be in direct reference to the role that we created earlier. So if we drop this down, we can see that manager role that we created earlier. So we're going to select that. Remarks. We're going to just put have fun because this is a demo. And then you would hit OK. And it's going to send them a verification email and let them know that, hey, everything is, is good to go with this. It's been shared to you. Once they log into their Easy Cloud account, They'll go over to this tab right here. It says devices shared to me. And they will see that that shared device. So another good feature about Easy Cloud is it's fairly seamless integration with Easy Station. Um, if you're familiar with Easy Station and Easy View, which is the mobile app, uh, they're going to work kind of similarly in relation or uh, in regard to Easy Cloud. So once you've got that cloud account registered and you've got um, you know a, a device actually on there, okay, you're going to come over to device management, cloud device, and login. And so we're just going to put in our password here. It's going to log into our Easy Cloud account. It's going to ping the server. The server's going to say yes, there is a device registered, and now we can see the status has changed to online. So if we go back to control panel into live view, we can see our demo system is right here. We can just click and drag, and then our first few cameras are going to show up here in just a sec. Just like that. Exact same for playback as well. So if we go into control panel and then playback, we're going to see, again, our demo system is here. We can pick camera 2 and pick our date. We'll go back to the 14th. We're going to search. We're going to see this populate. And then we can see that there's a bunch of traffic here at 5 a.m. from the 14th. 
So let's go over a couple questions that we usually get on this. Is this a cloud storage service? No, it's not. It's just for organization and viewing of your devices. Um, again, really handy if you've got multiple devices, multiple locations that you need to keep track of. If you do need a storage solution that is cloud-based, let us know. We do have one available. Uh, just getting into that, so please give us a call and uh, let us know if you need more information on that. Is any port forwarding involved? No, there's not, actually. So this is a P2P solution, and so you don't have to have any kind of port forwarding in place. So if you have no idea what you're doing with a router, no problem at all. Can you use this with non-Uniview NVRs like Hike and Dawa? No, you cannot, because this is a proprietary system, and so those are not going to work. Hopefully you guys got something out of this. Hopefully this was fairly educational. Uh, if you did get anything out of it, hit the like and subscribe button down below. It helps us kind of get everything out there and make more cool, fun content. It doesn't actually help us make content. It just helps us get it out there. Uh, but yeah, if you want to, if you have any questions, let us know in the comments below and we will see you on the next one. Thanks guys.